All right, let's take a live look outside. A live look at Tacoma right now. It is a gorgeous day. You can see the Tacoma Dome nice and bright. And of course, Mount Rainier in all her glory. Adam Claybon joining us now. It's just been a beautiful weekend. It really has. And like you two were saying, uh, that water looks inviting, especially with how hot it is outside. But yeah, keep in mind, it's uh, not the best feeling once you get into it. So a wet suit definitely, or a dry suit, probably more um, what you want to draw, put on before you get into the water, if you're going to get into the water that is. But uh, let's talk about those temperatures because a lot of our highs today reach the upper 70s and lower 80s. 79 in Renton, 75 in Tacoma, 80 though in Seattle, and about 80 in Shelton. And again, that 80 today that we hit was the first time here this month, which means, hey, it's another month in our streak of months since 2011. I'm hitting at least 80 degrees at least once in May. Well, here's a look at the satellite and radar picture, and you can see not really too many clouds out there for us. We do have a system that's well off to the north and to the west, and that will continue to spray more of those clouds and even some showers up across parts of British Columbia. Down this way, the heat that will continue to build over the next few days with high pressure continuing to stay in control. And well, while it's going to heat up for us west of the Cascades, east of there, well, it's going to be hot enough for a heat advisory where they could see highs into the upper 90s and possibly the low 100s. And that's going to start up tomorrow and go all the way through Thursday. So if you're going to be heading over that way, uh, keep that in mind too. Bring plenty of water and try to stay as cool as possible. Some of the numbers that are currently over there, Kashmir right now at 89, Ellensburg at 89 degrees, Yakima at 90 and 92 in Pasco. Now on this side of the Cascades, yes, we are dealing with a lot more of those 70s. Camino Island even up to 77 degrees. So it's been a beautiful and really gorgeous warm Memorial Day for us. Well, there's another look at Mount Rainier in all of its glory. 77 degrees, north winds coming in at about 14 miles per hour. So a slight breeze in place for us. Currently sitting at 79 in Bremerton. 71 in Port Angeles and in the mid 60s in Oak Harbor. Uh, temperatures today, yes, have been noticeably warmer, especially because we didn't have as many of the clouds earlier into the day. Uh, that helped us to warm up just a bit more and a bit earlier, too, than what we saw back on Sunday. And really, that theme continues here as we go throughout the night. Generally clear skies with a few passing upper level thin clouds that are going to be in place. Uh, we'll see a few more of those early into the morning again, but quickly that will move out of here and we're going to see a lot more of those clear skies and sunshine, which is really going to help things to heat up again for us. So over the next few days, 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday, then gradually beginning to cool back down on into the end of the work week. Lows tonight dropping into the 50s and a few lower 60s. And then tomorrow, 78 in Stanwood up to 81 in Juliap, uh, about 78 in Bellingham, 72 in Port Angeles, uh, up to around 84 in Linwood, 82. Also, as you get closer to Redmond, South Sound calling for more of the mid 80s in Tacoma and in Puyallup, about 86 in Auburn, 87 in Shelton. Uh, closer to the shore uh, or closer to the coast, we're in the lower 60s in Ocean Shores at 61. A little warmer as you go northward around Forks at 80 degrees. Aberdeen up to 77 and where we're expecting that heat advisory to be in place. Uh, that's where we see See the big time heat 94 in Ellensburg, Moses Lake up to at 97 degrees, Walla Walla at 94 and uh, the triple digits, the century mark in Tri-Cities at about 100 degrees. 83 in, uh, on, on tomorrow and heading on into your Thursday will top off at 73 degrees and uh, yeah, the cool down comes in and it comes in with a few more of those rain chances as we go on into the weekend. Greg and Jessica as we see uh, more of those 60s ahead for us. Still pretty good few days ahead. That's for Adam, sure. Yes. Adam, thanks.